Good evening. I'm Whitney Laney. And I'm Jenna Lee Lightborn. Thanks for joining us. In our top stories, business owners beware. Just when you think you're in a safe neighborhood, anything could go wrong. The Federal Justice Department has filed a decree to resolve a lawsuit with Walmart stores that it filed on behalf of a former airman. The lawsuit was filed in March in U.S. District Court in Orlando. It claimed the company didn't give Sean Thornton his job back after he was discharged from the military. It claimed Walmart violated the Uniform Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act of 1994 by failing to reinstate him as a cashier at an Orange City store after he was discharged. Under a consent decree with the Justice Department, Walmart would be required to pay Thornton $12,000 in back pay, less legally required employee income tax withholding other statutory employee deductions. Having trouble selling your home? You're not alone. Many Floridians are having trouble making the transition. Here is Brad Bettinger with more on the story. Eight lawmakers in Tallahassee have sent a bill that updates the lyrics of Florida State Song and improved a separate song as an official state anthem to Governor Crist. Adopted as state song by the 1935 Florida legislator, Stephen Foster's Old Folks at Home has long been criticized as racially insensitive. Under the bill, those criticized passages would get updated lyrics. Foster's song makes reference to Swanee River and some lawmakers from counties the river passes through didn't want the new anthem. The new anthem is a song written by a Florida teacher and other lawmakers said it would be better reflect modern Florida. Nothing is bigger than the Beatles, but Al Fontana's collection is larger than life. And have you ever wondered what it's like to skydive? I've wondered, but I've never gone skydiving, Whitney. Well, I took to the skies, and after the break, find out if skydiving is a sport you would like to try. Two new polls suggest Democrat Hillary Clinton has closed the gap nationally in her race against Barack Obama. One of the polls indicates that at times, bitter campaign is hurting both their public images. A quarter of those surveyed in one of the polls say the controversy involving Obama's former pastor has made them think less of Obama. Meanwhile, congressional Democrats are struggling to work out an Iraq war funding bill that will both appease their ranks and be acceptable to President Bush. Maryland Democrat Staney Hoyer says the House is unlikely to vote on the measure next week as he originally had hoped. Now we have Tessa Hardick with breaking news live from Lakeland. So reporting for CSB News and I'm at the BP station in Lakeland and I'm checking out the gas prices here and it seems that the gas prices are not going to get any better. In the next six months they're estimated to go over four dollars and right now as you can tell the cheapest is three sixty seven and with diesel prices over four dollars truck drivers are not too happy. Tessa where do you estimate the gas prices will be six months from now? Six months from now, the gas prices are not going to get any lower. They're going to steadily increase over the next couple of months, and they're estimated to be way over $4 six months from now. What is the public reaction to the rising price of gas? The public's reaction to the gas prices is not a good one. The gas prices are only going to get higher, and people are riding their bikes to and from work now, and you don't see as many cars on the road as you did six months ago. What plan is in effect to solve the issue of the rising price of gasoline? Right now, the problem does not seem to be getting dealt with. The prices are getting higher, and although we're hearing from the government that they're trying everything in their power, the prices are getting higher, and more and more people are getting upset. Well, I think for everybody else, it's pretty bad. Um, the rise in gas prices is not very good for the economy. In well, all, it's going to happen. So to me, I just go with the flow. Well, that was one person from the public's point of view, and back to you guys in the studio. Nothing is bigger than the Beatles, but Al Fontana's collection is larger than life. If you are a Beatles fan, then you won't want to miss this. And now, let's take a look at sports with Brad Bittinger. like to take to the skies yourself, you can contact Skydive City online. That's the news for now. Thanks for joining us. For a complete wrap-up of today's news, weather, and sports, join us tonight for WCSB News at 11. Good night.